I cannot help but contend that a controlled experience always takes us away from a mystical encounter. Holding creates the impossibility of beholding. As a monk once told me, naming the nameless can leave all unrecognizable. Naming an encounter implies an unattainable certitude. When really, the elusive nature of mystery befalls all of our understanding. To say something is or isn't, to say something has a name or doesn't, implies a dualistic nature. And in our desperate desire to cling, we are left time and time again, barefaced before the mystery that silence is. It is only when we rid ourselves of this dualistic nature that we begin to see mystery for what it sincerely is. We begin to touch the bottomless depths of something hosting imponderable facets.